And when I'm talking about healing, through helping, do not be the source of distress of others. You're sitting and you're wondering, why is my heart broken? Because you've broken the hearts of a thousand others. That's the problem. How can you heal when you have destroyed others? So therefore, help people and see how Allah helps you. All this is derived from the beautiful, blessed words of the greatest of creation, the most noble of all messengers of Allah, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. He says, Kan Allahu fi awnil abdi, ma kan al abdu fi awni akhihi. Allah will continue to help a worshipper for as long as that worshipper continues to help another. Are you helping someone? Well, Allah Almighty will continue helping you. So here goes. A heart will always go through struggles because you're just a human. If you have done something wrong, turn to Allah. And if you do the wrong again, turn again to Allah. And if you do it wrong a third time, turn a third time to Allah. And as many times as it repeats itself until the day you die, become strong. Let the gap between the sin become bigger. That's a sign of improvement. I am a person who would acknowledge that. If you say, you know, I used to smoke 20 a day and now I smoke 10 a day. I'll say, oh, mashallah. I'm not saying mashallah at the fact that you smoke 10 a day. I'm saying mashallah at the fact that you quit 10 a day. See the point. And then if you say, I used to smoke every hour and now I'm smoking every six hours. I say, mashallah, because the gap is bigger. Now I smoke once a week. Sorry, I don't mean me. I'm just giving an example, right? So now I just smoke once a month. Once a month, you can do away with it. Well, now I've just given it up. Subhanallah. I know there are two ways of doing things. You can either give up now or you can space it out. Sometimes you fall. People have bad habits, addictions. Sometimes people look at the wrong things on their phones and then you tell them, listen, be strong. They say, but you know, I fell. I said, when was the last time you fell? Well, about a month ago. Okay, make sure that you longer than a month this time. And then they're waiting for the 30th of the month. Now, come on, come on, don't do that. You know, when you're weak and you're a human, you may fall. If you've fallen, astaghfirullah, go back to Allah because you have a problem. Shaitan makes you fall. And when you fall, shaitan comes back to you and says, that was so bad, so bad. Even I'm ashamed of you. You know what? Allah's not going to forgive you. And then, and then you start thinking, gosh, I did something so terrible. I don't think Allah's going to forgive me. Many people ask that question. Will Allah forgive me? He will, he shall, he probably already did. Because that's shaitan. Wow, it shows you the plan of shaitan. He tells you to disbelieve and when you're away, he says, hey, I got nothing to do with this. I got nothing to do with this. You did it on your own. He comes back to you and makes you think there's no forgiveness for me. My sisters, my beloved brothers, if you would like your heart to heal, you need to improve your connection with your maker by constantly seeking the forgiveness of Allah and having hope that he has forgiven you. Have hope. We're all human. If we had to know the sins of each other, we wouldn't even want to look at each other. That's why Allah's kept it such that when you look at someone, what do you see? Ya man dhahar al jamil wa satar al qabih. It's a dua. Allah has made apparent that which is beautiful. You see a lovely human being. You don't see the ugliness behind the deeds of that person because Allah kept it so beautiful. Give them a chance. Give them a chance. May Allah Almighty grant us the ability to help others and may He help us.